So I was reading the idea exchange this morning and saw Shane's idea here to add a browse button to file path indicators in Lavi. Um, while that's an idea we can consider in R&D, I also wanted to show you how you can implement this functionality yourself uh, today using a couple of different techniques that are available in Lavi. So the first way I've done it here, um, let's see if I run this VI, I can right click on uh, either of my controls here and select Explore, and it opens up that location in Windows Explorer. One of these is an X control. Uh, the other one is just a regular path. And in fact, I can just go to the palette and it's add a silver path control. You'll see that it inherits the same functionality. So if I just hit Run, right click, it also gets Explore. There's no path selected, so it just opens up kind of the default. Um, whereas the X control, obviously, you have to drop that specific X control. Now, the X control functionality, if I close the demo, you'll be able to see how it, um, how it actually works, is in the facade VI, I have my X control. Um, I just added a path control there. Whenever the data changes, I update. Whenever the shortcut menu activates, I add explore to the shortcut menu items. And then whenever you select it, I I uh, get the current value and just open the default browser, which happens to be Windows Explorer for file paths. Um, I assume this will work on a Mac or, or other OSs. I haven't tested it. Um, so that means the advantage of the X control is it works on at edit time and at run time. Uh, another technique for doing something similar that doesn't require X controls is this um, is to do it via what I call Brat VI. It's called a Brat VI because uh, the child controls the parent, so to speak. You drop this VI on your block diagram. So on my demo block diagram, you'll see I just dropped this VI here. Um, and then it spawns an asynchronous VI that just runs until I tell it to stop. And the way I tell it to stop is using this user event. So if we look at what this VI looks like, it merely gets a reference to its parent, uh, gets a list of all the controls on that VI checks to see which ones are paths, makes an array of all the ones that are paths, and passes that into an asynchronously running VI, uh, along with a user event to listen on for when to stop. And if you look at what's on that internal VI, actually starting to here, um, I probably got a bug I need to debug before I post the code. Um, but we register for it through certain events, and again, whenever the user makes a selection, from the menu, we insert our value here. And whenever they actually select an item, we plug the value and open the default browser. So that's two ways of getting the functionality Shane asked for today with uh, reusable code. So I'll take a look at whatever that bug was, and I'll try to get this posted later today. Thanks for listening.